yeah. depending especially on where Zerk takes his third. So I guess we're going to wait for that before figuring this out too much. In the center left, in the red, one of the greatest Protoss players of all time. My insanity reign. I think you could say the greatest. No, I guess you'd have to give it to MC still, but... Yeah, and Zest is still era, really good. Yeah, in the modern era, Reign has been just ridiculous. In the upper right, the world champion. Study life. This guy is a wrecking ball, man. He's a shrecking ball, actually. He is. You heard it here first, Shrekking Ball. Shrekking Ball. It's a... Uh, Big Shrek head on a chain. And he Shrekking rides in on that naked. Huh? We're in a is riding suit. on that naked coming in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> With your monkey legs. And yeah, monkey man. Arms. Yeah, man. My orangutan arms and stuff. Yeah. Um, who wins, do you think, out of these two? Oh, God. Because um, I have no clue. <laughs> With the way the games are looking so I, far, we haven't seen anybody get to, like, a mid-game, <laughs> really, yeah, you know. I'm, I'm kind of feeling life right now, to be honest, on these. think so? I'm looking at the spots. Like, he can take uh, the, the third on the right. Oh, TNA. There's a sign there it there. is, guys, from San Francisco. Thanks for coming down, Thank guy you for coming crowd. down here. Now, guys, when you, you make a GSL sign, coins. yeah, you get a GSL coin. Um, <coughs> actually, no, you get two GSL coins if you make a sign. And it gets shown. And it gets shown, yep. yep. And uh, you can use that coin to... Well, go enter in a raffle, but you can also turn that in to get a movie ticket. If, yeah, if you get your sign shown, you can get a movie ticket instead of coins. That's right. Thank you. To American Sniper. Yeah. Although I would assume most of our foreign, um, the people that come to visit Korea, I don't know if they're going to go see a movie while they're out here. But yeah. uh, you can also get giveaways and some swag and stuff like that. Mm. Well, uh, we do know people that do that, by the way. They actually, when they're in a foreign country, they'll go see a movie. <laughs> Can we just be critical of that for a second? I mean, it's not my cup of tea, but yeah. Some people. We were like a lot of, a lot overseas. We had friends where they're like, "Oh, want to go see a movie?" I'm like, "We're in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we see a movie in Spain?" Maybe you want to practice your Spanish. Yeah. If it's dubbed. They got yeah. They got subtitles down there at the bottom. Yeah. We're getting a, an update here. Did you get that artosis I was talking yeah. when the PD was talking? What I, was that? Go ahead. The, uh, basically, last week, whoever lost the winner's match last week actually ended up losing overall. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, anyways, it's just a little, little thing. little tidbit to know. I don't think that's going to be the case today. I think yeah, the, I would the be best surprised if that happened here we're today. Not, we're not together today. Yeah. So. Whereas I think that uh, last week, the best players were playing each other in the first matches. So mm -hmm. I think that makes more sense that way. If you guys are um, just now tuning in, I'm just going to put a disclaimer in here. Artosis is very sick. I'm surprised he came in today. Yeah. Thank you for Thank being you. such a trooper, Artosis. Thank you for saving eSports again, Artosis. You're welcome, the whole world. <laughs> Tasteless as well. Because he's out of this world. <laughs> well, it's uh, super greed builds against each other once again here. We have double hatch before pool against... Uh, Nexus first, Gateway in the main behind the minerals. So, super economic openings. We'll see where they go from here, though. Yeah, I'm curious what <laughs> the tech is going to be here from Rain. In, this, in these spots, well. looking at what they're doing, what, what, what would you think he'd go for? What is the most Rain-like build? You know, the safest, most well-rounded? Uh, quick blink uh, in third base. Okay. I would say that's, yeah. I'll take that. Maybe see him throw up a forge relatively soon. Toasty McToastos. Yeah. I haven't called you that one take yet. Take third base. Yeah. And yeah, get Twilight, Blink, plus two. Uh, and, of course, get a Robo in there, too. I think that's that's the most rain-like. But and so far, the build's lining up for it. Yeah, could could certainly be that. Do you like it when I call you Artie McToastos? Do you like that? I've never I asked you this it. before. You like that? I love it. You want what, uh, the, our remix of our... Uh, I like it better when Paula calls me, though, to be honest. When Apollo, you've been having a caster affair. I have been. You've been talking time. to younger, hotter casters. Oh, That's we're in what's an open casting relationship. I, I wasn't aware of this. Well, I think we have a lot to talk about. Wow, today. I think we do. Yeah, this is a third base. You know what our Archon name could be? <coughs> the the remix of that. What is it? So, clearly, Artie McTose is more taste dose. It could. Artie McTaste a lot. McTaste a lot. Art, yeah. Where do we get lot? Well, I don't know. I just that's that's how crazy I am. 
I'm a wild guy. Yeah, I guess you yeah. are. Well, looks like well, we I'm might not... actually have a normal game here, guys. Yeah, it looks like it. How about that? Six very one-sided games uh, coming out here. Lucky number and we're, seven. Look at that. Look at that. So Protoss with the third base. What's going on? It's crazy. It's breaking the trend. Yeah. This is looking like just a normal StarCraft game. <laughs> I'm excited about it. I want to see these two have a macro game. Should be seeing a Twilight popping up pretty soon here, I would imagine. Doesn't have to be, but you really think so with the build he's chosen. Uh, as far as life goes, oh, I like it. He's getting Hydra. Uh, Roach Hydra down in that bottom area, it's very difficult uh, to actually defend that correctly. It's, I mean, it's doable, but those ramps are quite small to walk down into a concave of Roach Hydra. So if they can gain that bottom position and your army is split incorrectly between the two bases, it can be it can be frustrating to deal with. So you might be looking to put on some pressure with that and go into Swarm Host, which is something Life has been doing a lot lately. Well, that Hydra Den's finishing up. We also have Ling's speed here uh, coming, as well as missile attack. So he's gearing up to do what Artosis was talking about. Uh, it could be really effective here. Yeah. Again, it is a treat. I, I was really worried for a little bit here that we wouldn't see a single normal game yeah. in this match especially because this is I think for most of our viewers who are training and trying to get better at StarCraft if you, whether you're Protoss or you're Zerg you'll probably watch this in an attempt to learn a build yeah. or understand the matchup better and sometimes that is a shame when we're, we just see these I mean they're fun to watch but yeah. they're not always necessarily educational no certainly know. not note he's getting extra cannons over here yeah he's being very careful he knows uh, what this could be you know, he's had enough uh, sentries scouting for him. So to have those extra cannons is actually huge. His blink is actually uh, a little bit slower than sometimes you see with a build like this, but I don't think that's really going to end up killing him or anything. A lot of hydras being created. And uh, quite a few lengths as well. So looks like life definitely going to put on a lot of pressure here. And if Rain screws up, he definitely can kill him with it. Yeah, and that's going to be picking up in a little bit here. They're continuing to to macro up. You can see now life's supply is really starting to kick in there. A little while back, he was at 120. It's already shot up to 143. And that's going to continue to just spike up. Uh, and he's now moving out here on the map. If Rain's control is really spot on with his force fields and everything, this seemed like a, should the, be able to hold. The creep was not pushed out very far. No, it's on this you're right map. About that, yeah. It's a, a bit odd. I hadn't noticed that until we just got that shot he there. Might, and I thought, how is that not covered uh, in creep already? He might be very queen light right now. Uh, he is one of these players uh, that yeah. doesn't creep spread as much sometimes. That, that's actually a good point. It probably because it's life and life is usually so perfect in his play. It must be the lack of queens in the yeah. build. Oh, this is really nice. Look at the patience oh he's God. actually attacking with. This is a very patient way to start it by taking out some of the infrastructure. Oh! Rain almost completely runs yeah. through there and backs up. This is going to be very annoying if he loses one gateway. Yeah. Uh, it's funny because you put that there defensively, so it's harder to get the Nexus and the probes, but then when you lose that gateway, that's going to really... Lynx can run right through. Up. Yeah, exactly. And meanwhile, another attack over here. Now, remember, he did make two cannons there. He was prepared for... Um, multi-pronged attacks. And look at this. He is hitting on two different fronts right now. Some good force fields on yeah, both sides. This is a though. real burden for the Protoss to defend right now. Yeah, it's very hard to come down that ramp correctly. He does have Blink now, so that's really, really important. Uses his second Nexus cannon here. Wow, I mean, that was actually handled very well by Rain. Uh, but these Hydras are doing so much damage here. He blinks up, nicely done, and throws down a few force fields here. And, and uh, that forces life back. But life's not done. He's already he's still 163 supply, and it's going to continue to spike up. Yeah, he lost a lot of his sentries, unfortunately. Uh, you know, he's having a hard time because, again, these concaves of Hydras are very tough to fight. And he's going to start pushing once again here. Some good blinks here by Rain. Has a good Guardian shield up as well. A lot of his Stalkers actually aren't firing. That's an issue. Yeah, some of the Stalkers stuck in the back. The Hydra's starting to uh, jump forward here. But with the Nexus Cannon and that sheer number of Stalkers, it's starting to push back life's Hydras. I wonder if he should have tried to push the ramp a little bit uh, during this. Because he went up right to where the stalkers were. I mean, the ramp is the natural. Well, there's more hiders coming down here, and he might have actually blinked a little bit too far there. Oh, I guess maybe not. Excuse me. Looks like he'll be able to kill all these off. Yeah. Uh, I was, was already like blinked a, in too, a little bit too close. Yeah. You know, the Hydra's deal damage so fast, it could spiral out of control. But life is not only beating back that attack, but starting to push across the map. Mm. Um, and that did force life to completely retreat. Now. Keep in mind, though, Rain has 
stuck with just a bunch of stalkers. Yes. He doesn't, I believe, even have a sentry. Yeah, you're right. right. It's, so it's he's on just stalkers. stalkers. And that's always very good or very bad. Yep. Um, well, actually, I guess it can be in between, because right now it's in between. Um, <laughs> but, you know, a lot of times people get stuck on stalkers. Uh, yeah, it's is, like you, you, the only thing you can make that you can micro to defend with is a yeah. stalker. A zealot will just die. A sentry, it's very situational. As oftentimes, you can't really use a force field in this moment, or you don't have yeah. the time to it. So he's got 32 stalkers, and I believe we saw a zealot warping in. I didn't catch uh, the tail end of it, but just uh, just stalkers. And he's now going to push across the map, it looks like. Yeah, he wants to go and And he's hit. actually finishing more gates, too. Uh, well, he I think he's deemed that his opponent's on layer tech, and he has a timing here where uh, life has to be transitioning into something, whether it's Muta or Sormos or something like that. So uh, I think it's actually a very smart attack. Now, this is pretty tough. I mean, you're microing on multiple screens at this point in time. Uh, he's got to get into a favorable position here. So he gets back onto the high ground there. It looks like he wants to loop around possibly to the upper right. No, he just continues to back up now. And okay. here's where it's just going to be blinking individual stalkers back. But that's a really nice arc there for those Hydras. He blinks down to create a nice arc for himself. Lings are now coming up here. They're going to tank some of the damage while the Hydras deal the majority of the damage back here. But is it just too many Stalkers? I think it is. Oh, it might be. Uh, and here's the thing with Hydras like that, they, they, they can't run away. They're not just going to be able to no. get out of there against Blink Stalkers. Look at that. He just certainly he can hunt him down pretty easily. And the Hydras are pretty costly, man. They it's certainly are. It's not a unit that you can... It's not like a Ling or something where, you know, as long as it's doing something no, you can't. in a fight, it's it's appropriate to lose. The Hydras really need to be protected. Yeah. And it's that's like why the Lings are being made in the first place. Sir. Roaches really are... You know, it's not like a roach as well, where, you know, roaches, you just say, like, all right, I lost some roaches, you just make a million more roaches. Yeah. It's hard to get those Hydra numbers so high. So, well, Rain I has done a very good job uh, of this so far because, look, he pushed out, which pressured life into making these units again. He had gone Infestation Pit, which means he wanted to tech up further, uh, and then couldn't do it because he saw the attack coming, right? So now he's still stuck on layer units. And Rain is able to be like, all right, I can just stay on Stalkers. And if you pressure with Blink Stalkers just right, you can really control what they have to make. Um, the Stalkers and the Zealots coming up now, and he's just hitting this third base so hard, I think he can actually take this game. Yeah. I mean, this is, it's that critical mass of Stalkers where it's almost impossible for Zerg to really do anything uh, as he's facing off against it. I mean, the, the options available for Blinking are just too good. Was that a drone transfer actually coming down? I think it's a drone pull. Yeah, it's a drone pull. And uh, this engagement, it's uh, I guess all going to come down to this, and I can't imagine it's going well for life here. Yeah. Especially with that ramp and blink available. Exactly. He's got such a huge concave here. Some drones coming in from the back. And I don't you know, know what's sad is even if Zerg holds oh. us off, it's still Zerg on two base. That is true against three base Protoss. He's actually doing a very good job. These roaches really helping to tank quite a bit and let the Hydras get their damage. Yeah, in. but this is going to get swallowed up by the rest of these Stalkers. GG, Rain wins and is the first to move on uh, to the round of 16 here. Yeah, can't be too surprised about that. Rain is a literal god. Literal god, Tosis. Yeah. Um, well, <clears throat> you know, I think that they both played that very well. I think yeah. Rain, I think Life made one mistake. When he actually engaged the third Nexus with Nexus Cannon and all the Stalkers behind there, it almost yeah. looked for a second like he might break it. But I think that's where he really gave Rain the game because he was just like, the Nexus Cannon was actually drawing so much fire from the Hydras. Yeah. A good blink to let him keep all the Stalkers alive, really. Uh, that I think that was a mistake. Before that, I felt like life was winning. Well, Rain's your guy to get out of the group. And uh, that leaves only one spot with three players left yep. to get into the round of 16 for the GSL Code S. Uh, kind of funny that we saw uh, what we could deem a more normal StarCraft II GSL yeah. game. That was a very normal uh, game. Most of our games today have been very one-sided, very short. You know, it's uh, pretty pretty crappy games, really. Uh, ones that I don't like, at least. Some really one-sided cheesy all-ins and stuff, or just defending what your opponent's doing. But that last one, quite nice. That was. That was pretty much the StarCraft I know and love. Um, but, yeah, we're going to have an interview with Rain coming up here, and then we'll see if, if uh, Gumi or Panic is going to challenge life for that last spot. Yeah, our next match. We'll decide who's the first to be eliminated. Uh, so far, Gumi Ho and Panic uh, not quite measuring up to the other two players, Life and Rain. Anyways, we're going to have a quick interview here with uh, Rain.
and see what his thoughts are now that he's moved on to the round of 16. This is our first player to get out of the group. It's Rain. How are you feeling, Rain? Since I haven't really played in the Pro League, <laughs> there weren't any matches I didn't prepare for. I was actually having a tough time getting motivated and practicing. Uh, I just had to push myself and bring out the best results I possibly could. So it must be really fun for your fans to watch you uh, come out in the winner's match. <laughs> So when you have a match against a match, a match, excuse me, against like someone like Life, how do you feel? When I checked his natural base, I had a pretty good idea of how he was going to play. I didn't feel like um, you know, some of his plays he was doing, I wasn't quite prepared for. Caught off guard. What score would you give yourself today based on your performance? <gasps> 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 he said I'd give myself a 70 or an 80 out of 100. I concur. Congratulations on your victory, Rain. So in those PvP matches, your opponent had some really aggressive um, style of play. Yes, I was actually researching my opponent's bots, uh, but it was tough to find a lot of bots about him. I did manage to find some, I did manage to study his play. And he, said, he thought he viewed the play as a, a bit older style. So when you had your match against Life, he's got really aggressive play styles. What were your thoughts? Yeah, I hate that kind of play style. Rain is my spirit. <laughs> He's way too aggressive. Having a match against Zerg uh, as a Protoss against that kind of play style is really tough. In set 3, he just kept getting into your face with the Hydras. And there was this moment where it almost looked like you were going to lose set 3. But you dealt with it calmly. Well, if I utilize my sentry force fields really well, uh, it, was, it wasn't too hard to uh, defend his attack. And I guess he asked about his facial expressions. Um, he said, I always have the same facial expression when he plays. Uh, it's always the same. He asked, are there any secret ways that you <laughs> utilize the stalkers? He said it's a secret, I can't tell. <laughs> he said it's, 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 it's the reason why I make the money, so I can't tell you. <laughs> Most stalkers, mo money. That's true. So Rain, your fans must want to see you smile um, after you win matches like that. He said I'll try to smile then. She said if you give yourself a 70, 80 uh, out of 100, he says, uh, he said he'll only smile again when he gets 100. He gives himself a 100 out of 100 for score. So it's been a year since he raised the champ championship trophy. Uh, they were asking about what his goals are for this season. And he says, I think now is the time to really come out on top, become a champion. So we can't skip this part, Rain. Say something to your fans. I know that all my fans might have been a little bit disappointed. Um, there's, I haven't had a lot of chances to meet you guys. So please cheer for me and expect great results in my future matches. 
And the commentator said, I have. He says, there are any words you want to say to your former teammates? Because surely they're watching you. But I'm so tired of it. 연습을 했으면 좋겠어요. 제방 오지 말고. 네, 그게 인사였습니다. <웃음> 아 혹시 만약에 이제 십육 강전에서 그옛 동료들을 만나게 된다면, 네. 냉정하게 whenever I am streaming, 할 생각이 할 생각이 please be my practice opponents. 일단 좀 all right, got that out there. 좀 나이가 많이 든 사람들이랑 같이 하고 싶어. 좀좀 <웃음> 네. 좀 게으르고 네. 좀 연습 좀 나이가 좀 먹어가지고 이제 체력도 딸리고 연습도 어. 많이 안 하고. 음. I said he prefers to have <laughs> 네. older gamers <laughs> who are lazy <laughs> and not really practicing <laughs> well <laughs> for his <laughs> future <laughs> opponents. Let's play against us. Yeah, I was going to say. Thank you. Thank you. And that's what he's hoping to play against in round of 16. Well, if he wants, why don't you or I can just go to the booth and get wrecked if that's what he's looking for. Yeah. Some dinosaur nerds, <laughs> yeah. tastosis. Um, guys, Get your life together and get down to the studio. You're messing Seriously. up. You're oh, really man. messing up. Why are you not here? It's really disturbing to me, guys. Some of you guys are here. Some of you guys listening to us are here. You did the right thing. Yeah, yeah, we're proud of you Yeah, guys. we're proud of you guys. But everybody else is in serious trouble. Mm. We are really disappointed. Get down and get some GSL coins. It's probably the if next... You can't see us on camera, probably the next but we actually have likely. our arms crossed. We're giving you the disappointed mom stare. Yeah. Right? See? I, I can't do a good disappointed parent stare. Get down to the studio. Uh, it's free. We got a lot of great giveaways. And coming up next, we're going to have our losers match and figure out which player is going to be the first to get knocked out of this group here in the GSL Code S. Stay tuned.